Hi there. Well, following a, a question regarding this uh, conditional formatting that you can use um, in different sheets, uh, I will show you now how you can do that. So um, let's start up, you know, just like we did last time around by um, creating our name. So we are going to um, the formulas tab, uh, name manager, and well, we could actually click on define name. Uh, it doesn't really matter. So new name, and we're going to call this uh, active role and the value here we're going to set it equal to one well the next thing you have to do let's close this we're going to be selecting the uh, entire worksheet and we're going to be adding a conditional formatting so we can click here on new rule and we're going to use a formula uh, for that and on this formula we're going to use the uh, role function equal a one and we call that active uh, role which was the name and then we can choose a formatting here and the fill, uh, we could choose anything. Let's choose this uh, bright yellow here. So click OK. We have uh, now our conditional formatting. And the next thing we have to do is to uh, add our code. So we go to the developer tab and we're going to be opening the uh, Visual Basic. Now we're going to go to this workbook instead of uh, the sheet that we want to add the um, conditional formatting that is the, the conditional formatting for the line and we're going to be choosing here workbook well the first thing which is going to be offered is workbook open but that's not really what we want so we're going to go up here and we're going to choose workbook sheet selection change and sheet activate so we're going to start with sheet activate so we can get rid of this uh, uh, private sub workbook open so we can get rid of that and for the uh, worksheet activate uh, we're going to simply write call set CF and then we're gonna add the SH which is our uh, sheet object here uh, this set CH is gonna be uh, obviously a subroutine so we're gonna create this subroutine here so set CF and then by value and then we're gonna create here our object which is gonna be passed uh, from the uh, sheet activate event so let's call this uh, object active uh, sheet as object uh, the only reason I'm using object here is because as you can see up here we have object and what happens is that sometimes you might have a worksheet and sometimes you might have a chart sheet so we have to make sure that we can accept both if I use a worksheet then uh, an error obviously is gonna occur so if you actually go back here uh, as you open the parenthesis now you should enter obviously um, the parameter for the subroutine and the parameter as I had already written that's CA SH Okay, so we're not writing anything uh, on the set CF just yet. So the next thing we're going to do is, uh, and we're going to choose here sheet selection change. Well, this is basically what we uh, had done before uh, in the previous video. So we can actually change size here. I can cut this and paste up here. So we keep those ones together. And in this particular case, uh, in just the same way I did in the other video so we're gonna create our instruction here so with this uh, workbook dot names and the name we had given which is active uh, role let's just close here and with so we don't forget uh, dot name that's going to be equal to active role which is the name we created and that's gonna refer to R1 C1 and equal and active cell dot row okay so this part is ready and that's basically what we uh, had done before and now the next thing we have to do is to set the conditional formatting you have to remember that it, as you go through uh, the worksheets uh, the first worksheet we have the conditional formatting because that's the first thing we did just uh, before starting this video well actually just when we started this video and for the other sheets we won't have the conditional formatting so we have to set the conditional formatting for the other ones as well as the user uh, activates the uh, worksheet so the first thing we're gonna do is to uh, dimension a uh, worksheet so O for object and then uh, sheet as um, worksheet and then we're going to set also an object for the uh, condition itself as a format uh, condition and the reason why we're doing this is because you need to check whether you have the condition or not because otherwise you just keep adding conditions uh, one on top of the other so let's just uh, add an error handler here so on error uh, resume 
next and then we're going to set our um, worksheet which is going to be equal to the uh, old active uh, sheet which is the object we we're going to receive by value uh, in this particular subroutine and next thing we have to do is to set uh, the object for the uh, conditional formatting which is going to be equal to low work uh, sheet dot cells dot format conditions and that's going to be equal to one because obviously we only have one uh, conditional formatting for each uh, worksheet so we don't have to worry about having more than two obviously if you do happen uh, to have more than uh, one uh, uh, formatting condition so you have to ensure you have the correct index uh, for that particular uh, conditional formatting but in this particular case it doesn't really matter because I don't have anything so now we're gonna check whether uh, this is nothing or not so if not the object conditional formatting is is nothing then we simply exit sub because obviously it exists so we don't want to run uh, the remainder of the code. So uh, let's put here another um, error handler. So on error, uh, 